Cross Spring concert. I'm Kari Nelson, I'm the president of the department. And this is Noah Tosa, the vice president. We want to thank you for coming out tonight, even though we had to reschedule. As you know, our acapella choir took first at our, our contest that we had. So we are both support that we have from you guys. Uh, we couldn't do it without you. Uh, big ups to Ms. Bonzio. Yeah. Ms. So we are taking free willing donations to help us get the state and buy new music for our, for our last concert. Once again, we'd like to thank you for coming out. The first choir that you will hear tonight is concert choir.
All right, our next choir is Corral. Um, what the students will be begin to do starting on Monday is audition for choirs for next year. So concert choir and Corral are the entry level groups you don't need to audition for and all ninth graders want to be in choir, that's where they go. Um, for women, your journey can be if you want to audition, you can go to treble, a cappella, or a separate audition is for madrigals. Men, it's either corral, a cappella, separate audition for madrigals. Um, what happens during the audition is we'll test your range, so you'll sing your lowest note to your highest note, just to see how your voice has changed throughout the year. You'll sing a passage of your voice part from one of these pieces that they're singing tonight. And then they'll do a little sight reading activity. Um, if you know the scale, do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do, there's corresponding hand signs. And they're going to sing a little bit of those. You're seeing it's kind of a sight reading test. And so what we're looking for in members who want to move um, up in the choir department are three things. One, your voice in general. Can you sing your part? Is it strong? Are you singing with the choral tone? Can you match pitch? Second thing, your music literacy. So things we've worked on this year about reading music and have you shown growth. So not so much like have you reached this benchmark, but are you working? Can I see that that's what you're working on? Those kind of things. And the third and most important thing is how delightful of a human you are. Because one of the biggest issues is if you talk to any of these acapella students who have worked their tail off for contests, it's really hard to do so if you're with people who don't want to be there. And that's totally fine. There's a lot of people in the department who go, I don't really want to work much harder than this. Corral and concert choir, that's for me. And that's awesome. But if you want to put in that work, you got to be in the right mindset to move up. So if you have any questions about your students auditioning, please feel free to talk to Ms. Geiger or myself. And I'm really excited for you to hear Corral.
explain to you um, just a little bit about contest, because it is a pretty strange concept, um, choir con contest. So what it is, is you have to be a member of the Ohio Music Educator um, Association, which Ms. Geiger and I are, and um, we are then able to pick the art ensemble and compete for contests. There are different levels. So festival, you're just going, not for a rating, before comments. Then there's class C, class B, A, double A. And we went class B this year. And what that means is there is a list of songs for each class. And you pick one song off that list that you feel best shows off your group. For us, it is O Light Awaken. Then you pick two other pieces that show off your group of contrasting styles. So we have another foreign language and then a spiritual. You compare these pieces, you go to contest, and you sing for three judges. And we had a handful of supportive parents who came, but that's really about it that's in the gym. It was art choir, three judges, and a handful of parents. And what the bizarre part is, is they're at a desk and they're being recorded. So the whole time we're singing, or in between songs you just hear, because they're talking and, and giving you feedback, which is great because we listen to it in class, but it's a bizarre environment to be in. Once we're done there, um, the three judges give us a rating of five is the lowest, one is superior, and they do so without conferring with each other. Then we go directly into a sight reading room. And I've been prepping them just with telling them, it's like ACT rules. When you go in there, you're handed a booklet. You cannot open it until you are told to do so or we are disqualified stand there, it tells us what page to go to, you get four minutes to look at it and talk to them, but they can't hum, whistle, or sing. They just have to look at it, they can talk, they can snap, chant, whatever they need to do. Then they sing it once with the piano, I get a minute to talk to them again, they sing it again, and then that's it. And one judge gives us a rating of a five through a one. All the books have to be turned back in, we can't leave until they are counted, otherwise we're disqualified, and then we can go. Each judge gives you a rating. If you get a one, a two, a three on the floor, you get a two overall. And then if you get a two in the sight reading room, you get a two overall. So it can kind of level out, but we were so fortunate. Every single one of those judges, without talking to someone else, thought that this choir deserved a one, which is absolutely incredible. Their first time going to contest, that meant that they sang the highest at their level with little to no um, problems, which is absolutely fantastic. And I could not be prouder of how hard they worked. They should be so then what this means now is when we go to state contest, we get to remove one of our pieces. We will be removing Ave Verum and put another piece from the list and then prepare our other two pieces even more, and we get to go in three more judges, another side meeting, and we get to see if we hold up against the other choirs, because they are comparing us against them, even though the numbers aren't that way. And selfishly and sentimentally, state contest is held at my high school, and my choir director is running it, so I'm like, oh, this is just so thrill. So, and this was, so, I, Clearly, I was a huge choir nerd, otherwise I wouldn't be here. But this was like the highlight of my year, going to contests, hearing all the choirs, seeing what the other choirs got, because you gotta find drama and everything. And seeing them get excited about it too made me really happy. Because something I cared about, they were excited about too. Made me feel less weird. So, I hope you enjoy what they've shown these judges, because they are just incredible. And thank you.
Good evening. Uh, the next song we will be singing is actually one I wrote, uh, the words and the music. I just, I just want to say I didn't know how the Madrigals would take the song when I gave it to them back in October, actually, but I'm just so glad that they have accepted it and had fun with it. And, uh, you know, if I've asked them to do something with the notes or the style that they've uh, listened, and they've really done a good job with this song. Uh, it's called Presence because it has to do with the presence of family members. I usually try to write songs or words that have to do with some deeper topics. Um, and the song is dedicated to my grandma, uh, who unfortunately is not able to make it tonight, um, because She's had some, obviously she's had some rough spots in her life that were not of her own doing. And uh, to say the least, the presence of her children and her grandchildren I've seen have made all the difference with joy and happiness in her life. So I wrote words about that and the importance of the presence of family and children. So I hope you enjoy it.